What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the Lava Ridge, we defeated everybody, including the gym leader herself. Mm, 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 still remembering her, she is fine as wine. Yes, we won ourselves the Heat Badge from Flannery herself. God, she's so wonderful. Anywho, and uh, yes, we have accepted... Uh, we, we have accepted uh, May's proposal of coming back to Petalburg, uh, I should say, in order to, you know, get back at our dad for, you know, looking down on us and all that stuff. I don't know why I pressed that button. Okay, so, yes, in, this, in today's episode, we are going to be taking on our dad for our fifth gym badge. And, well, we have Hydra right here because, we, yeah, we do want to evolve him. No, he is not the next Pokemon on our team. I just, you know, I kind of want to do that right now. So, let's go right ahead and do it. Okay, so here we are in the Petalburg gym. Talk to the only man that's ever believed in us, and he's gonna be like, Yo, how's it going, champ to be Draven? The doors in the gym open when you beat the awaiting trainers. Whoops! The doors in this room are already open, so don't attack me! The trainers of the Petalburg uh, gym use all kinds of items. The door at the left leads to the speed room, the door at the right goes to the accuracy room. The, the name's room, or the, the room's name will be on the door, so choose carefully once you've chosen the door. Well, hey, go for it. So, let's see. I'm gonna go this side right here. This is the accuracy room because, well, I wanna see how fast they can actually hit me and all that stuff. Now, I think there's about six trainers. Six trainers in total. You can battle three if you want to. And every single one of these trainers will be equipped with some kind of item that, you know, represents the room that they are in. Every single one of these trainers, normal type trainers, so just be aware of that. So, as you guys can see, they're going to waste a turn with an X accuracy just to try and hit me. Here we go with a double kick because, well, you're a normal type Pokemon. You are basic. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Delcaddy has fainted. I am uh, kicking butt, taking names, and Mary never had a little lamb. Okay. So, let's see. Next one is going to be the defensive room and the recovery room. Let's go with the recovery room. Yes, we are going to be battling every single one of these trainers because, well, we might as well, right? So, let's go right here. Just when you think you're going to win, your opponent it restores his HP. Well, I am I'm, I'm sorry to I'm sorry to break it to you. I have a move that can hit you twice in one one turn, so good luck with that. So here we go, take it on a Linoon, a Linoon or whatever its name is. And we're gonna go with Tommy JDF. That's right. Zeal Ranger 5 is about to destroy you. So here we go, double kick. There's one, and there's two. There's no recovery! Ha! Huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's that, that 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 kind of backfired on you very quickly. Hydra grows to level 19, and George, he's like, yeah, he couldn't restore enough HP. You didn't restore HP at all, homeboy. So, let's see. Uh, the next room is the one-hit KO room. So, this one is the room that you should be aware of, because this Pokemon trainer might have a Pokemon that, well, might, maybe, could potentially hit you with a critical hit or a one-hit KO. And thankfully, we do we do have double kick. So here he comes out with a Zangoose out of all Pokemon, mainly because of its speed and its power and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and go with a double hit kick again. And here he comes with a well, yeah, a dire hit. So let's go one and two. There we go, Zangoose. You are basic too. That's right. That's right. Okay. All righty. And Thunderball, mooching off the points. Burke, you are basic too. Alrighty. Okay, so the next room will be our father, but what we're gonna do right here, guys, is we're gonna go back from the we're gonna go back to the very beginning because, well, yeah, we kind of want to beat everybody. So let's see. We haven't chosen this room yet, so this is the defensive room. And this room will lead us to this person right here. The defensive person, which, well, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to put it out there right now. Yeah. Your defense is not going to do anything. And I already have a, a plan intact in for, you know, my father. 
it's Tommy JDF. And, well, let's go with the double kick. Here she goes with an X defense. And, well, X defense will not work. There we go, as you can see. Yeah, super effective moves work all the friggin' time. And, yes, look at that. Level 39, Tommy JDF. Oh, yes. And the rest of the team is getting some points. Lori, embarrassed. Yeah, your defense was not... It was not there, homegirl. So, yes, we taught you a valuable lesson. And, well, the one-hit KO room right here. We've already been there. Now it's time for us to go to the strength room. Which, you know, by the name itself, it's going to say attack. Attack, attack. Here we go. So let's go right ahead. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and beat this person right here. So let's go right ahead. And take on it's Zangoose. Oh, my God. Zangoose. You know, I always choose, well, growing up, I always seem, or even even till right now, I always seem to have chosen, or I always seem to choose the wrong walkthrough, or the wrong game with the Pokemon that I want the most. Like, Zangoose was one of these Pokemon that I've wanted to try very, very much, until I figured out that, well, yeah, Pokemon is a normal type, and it's not really that great, so, yeah. And, well, look at that. Hydra grew to level 20. Should have done that in the last episode, but, you know, it's neither here or there. Digivolution time. Let's go with Hydra right here. And, as you guys can see, Hydra took us a while. Like I said, it should have been in the last episode, but you know what. And there it is. Bam. Gyarados is now with us. Again, I was gonna use this Pokemon in the last in the last fight. I think I have some water type moves that could actually help us with this guy. But you know what? Screw it. Evolving is pretty good. Okay, so our dad is waiting for us, but we still got quite a few trainers to take on. Like uh let's see, the the trainer that we didn't yeah, we still got like two doors, two, three doors closed, so we're gonna go to the very, very, very beginning. And See what this is all about right here so let's go all the way back right here and we are going to be taking on i don't I, I didn't look at the the screen right there it has two doors we're going to be taking on this guy right here i don't remember the name of the, the room okay so here we go taking on ace trainer randall he is coming with a del caddy del caddy you are just the bane of my existence you look like an ev like Believe it or not, Delcaddy does look more like an evolution than anything. Could you guys agree with that? It looks like an evolution, and here comes an X speed. And this could like this could be like what? The the dark type move. Well yeah. There's already a dark type Pokemon for what's his face? Uh for Eevee, but that just looked more like an evolution than anything. And just like that, we have defeated uh, our speed person, our speed demon. Okay, so move on to the next rooms, zero reduction room and defensive room. Okay, so the zero reduction room is the one room that we have not gone to. So let's go right here and take on this guy. He's like, don't even waste your time trying to lower my Pokemon stats. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We're just going to straight up beat you and beat you badly. Like, bad. So, here we go, Tommy JDF, coming out, ready to go, and here we go, get it with a double kick attack. So here comes a guard spec, that right there shrouds it in miss, so that will prevent any kind of, uh, what was it called, any kind of status effects right there, so, yeah, that's something. And, well, everybody's getting points, Olay grows to level 38. And just like that, your stats weren't even lowered at all. It's just your self-esteem. Okay, so the next room is the strength room, which we've already completed. And... Well, I think we've already... Yeah, we've already done this, so... Okay, it is time. It is time. There he is. He's waiting for us majestically, just, you know, meditating. He's like, I knew you'd come. I will not give you a car. Look at this guy. Meditation and all. Oh, he's about to get his... Oh, yeah. Hmm. So did you get the four badges? Then as promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. 
Bring it on, old man. The future is now. Okay, alrighty, so let's get it on. So here's our father, he's like, Draven, it makes me happier than I can uh, really describe. Being able to have a real battle with my own son like this, but a battle is a battle. I will do everything within my power as a gym leader to win. You better give it your best shot. You better give it your best shot too, Draven. Alrighty. Let's go. So here it is, guys. Gym battle number five against our father himself, Norman. Look at this guy. He's looking all mean and everything. And he is going to be coming out with the king of all slackers, Slack King. Okay, so as you guys can see, Slack King is a very, very, very physically imposing Pokemon. Very physical. So we're going to take one turn to bulk up. Actually, we need to take two turns to bulk up. Risk getting hit because our defense is going to go up. And as you guys can see, not that effective. The next move, we're going to bulk up because Slacking won't attack this turn. It just skips turns. And there it goes. Slacking's truant. It's going to be loafing around. So now that we're powered up twice, yeah, we're just going to destroy everybody. Let's go. Double kick. Oh, yes. That's right, Slacking. Oh, yes. And, you know, even though Slacking is a very, very, very good Pokemon to have, in, in, in the sense that, you know, it does have high, like, very high attack, for me, it's like, yeah, I'd rather not have it because, good God. Good God, it's just annoying. And there you go, Vigoroth. Defeated. Oh, yes. And bam, look at that. Level 40. Tommy JDF is about to mop the floor with my daddy. So, guy okay, goes to level 33, Shadow Eye, level 30, and, well, Slacking is coming out. And this guy is supposed to be the big time, the big one, the big baddie. And, well, here we go. Let's go with Libublic Beam, or the double, t the double kick. And just like that, not one, not two, but three. Three wins right there in a row. We swept the crap out of him, and look at that. Thunderball grows to level 36 and is learning Magnet Rise. What is this? So Magnet Rise is an electric type move that levitates the user for using electricity. This right here is a five, a five turn move to prevent any kind of ground type moves. I would love to use this move, so let's see. We're not very physical, so let's go right ahead and switch out Screech. And there you go. Magnet Rise is with us. And just like that, we win our fifth battle. And this guy's like, impossible. Uh, yeah, I kind of did what you guys didn't do to me. I boosted up my attack and yeah, I just kicked your butt. Anywho, I can't believe it. I lost to Draven. Hmm. You've come this far. That's how it is then. I will give you this. Bam. We got ourselves... Yes, the balance badge. Looking pretty cool and all that stuff. Anywho, so having the balance badge will ensure that your Pokemon up to level 60 will obey you, even the ones that got you get into trades. Pokemon that know or that know the move a the HM move Surf will also be able to travel around the water. And this is my gift to you, Draven. I'm sure you'll be able to use it well. Bam! We get ourselves the TM67 Retaliate. So, Retaliate right here will allow you to take a revenge for a fallen team member. Its power will be doubled if you have a Pokemon that the, the, a Pokemon use it in the, in the very next move, right after an ally fall or faints. I hope you and your Pokemon will be diligent enough to use it wisely. Whatever you say, Dad. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, God. As the gym leader, I can't express how frustrated I am. But as a father, it makes me both happy and a little sad. That's odd. The monologue. You gotta love the monologue right here. Come on, Draven. I see you're on your way. Let's get out of here. So after defeating our father, something great happens, and it's this. Wally. Ah! Draven! Mr. Norman. I haven't seen you two in some time. What a coincidence. I just came back to, uh, to my parents' house to grab something I'd forgotten. You look like you've got, been working hard, Wally. It's clear even without a battle. R really? You think so? <laughs> Thank you. That's so nice of you to say. 
Ah, Draven, isn't it? I'm glad to see you, you, you're, you're here. I'm Wally's father, of course. As you can see, Wally's health has thoroughly improved. It's a thanks. Uh, it's all thanks to you and your father. You two helped Wally catch its first Pokemon, or catch his first Pokemon out that day. It's because of you that he's that he has his own uh, partner of his own now. That partner is why he's grown so strong. That's my firm belief. So thank you. Yes, that's it. Sometimes words aren't enough. I would. It would delight me if you take this. And there it is, guys. The world has opened up. We got the HMO3 Surf. If you're clear to use Surf outside of battle, you'll be able to cross path the seas of your Pokemon with, this, with your Pokemon. Draven, considering how much you and Wally have grown, you should be able to handle what lies beyond the sea at Route 118 now. There are far stronger Pokemon and trainers waiting for you on Hoenn's East Coast. Continue your journey and adventures there. I know you'll do the best. Yes, sir. I will do my best to become as strong as Draven, sir. I guess I had better start out. Uh, start out then. I'm off. Uh, I'm off for now, Dad. See you next time. Um, come on, Draven. Let's go together. Wally, I look forward to seeing you and your Pokemon grow stronger together. Draven, well, take care of yourself. And uh, here's a middle finger because you beat me. Don't forget to drop to by to drop by Little Root to visit your mother uh, from time to time. Okay, we're off. Be safe out there. Learn a lot. And there it is, guys. We are on our way back to Mauville City. And here is a little bit of a monologue from both Fadas. The Fajas. The Fergers. I don't know what it is, but... Hmm. Seeing my little boy all grown up and going off on his own. As a father, it makes me happy and sad. <laughs> what a coincidence. I caught myself thinking the same thing. <laughs> is that so? But if only... If only my boy keeps growing strong and healthy like that... I wouldn't ask for anything else. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. Okay, alrighty, our, far, our, our Fergers are happy for us. So, the next adventure right here, Wally's gonna do, tell us, Mr. Norman told us to keep going beyond Route 118, didn't he? Let me check my area now. And from here, Route 118 is the best, is one east of Mauville City. Draven, since we're both here anyway, let's go to Malvale together. I'm definitely planning on going to check on the Route 18 like your dad said. That is it. Okay. So, here we are in Malvale, and, well, Wally's like, whew! It's actually, pretty, uh, it's actually pretty far, isn't it? All the way here to Malvale. So, that must be Route 118 ahead. I wonder what kind of Pokemon I'll meet there. Can't wait to find out! I'll see you later, Draven. I'm going straight to Route 118. Let's definitely have a battle next time we meet. It's a promise, okay? And you can't break a promise. Yeah, watch me break a promise. <laughs> Anywho, guys, the world has opened up to us. I am going to be doing a butt-ton of side quests. So if you guys don't like it, well, I got two words for you. Anywho, we got five badges. We are enabled to use Strength and Surf. There are so many things that we still have yet to cover here on the west coast of Hoenn, which we will be doing in the next few episodes, guys. Uh, and you know what? I've actually caught up with my Pokemon Omega Ruby, the game, the play. And, you know, after this recording, I'm going to keep on playing and start trading Pokemon and the whole shebang. Because, god dang, I'm having so much fun with this. So... Whatever they, uh, whatever this, uh, whatever day this, uh, this, this, uh, you know, this comes out, I just want to say thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. Um, it really means a lot. Another year, playing and all that stuff. I know I'm getting up there in age and all that stuff. When will I retire? Uh, who knows? Maybe when they stop paying me. <laughs> I don't know, guys. But thank you guys again for all the kindness, all the birthday wishes, and all that stuff. Um, more episodes will be coming out. More walkthroughs will be coming out. As long as I'm breathing, as long as I'm doing things uh, the right way, and uh, you know, continue to be okay with what I'm doing right here, will you? You guys will be seeing more walkthroughs along the way. Anywho, other than that, guys, I'm gonna be doing some side questing in the next few episodes. That's plain and simple. I will see you guys next time when we start side questing. Can't wait to see what happens. I really can't. So, yes, I will see you guys in the next episode as we start side questing. See you guys.